Hello, I'm Leah Scott Price, and I am a comic book author. And this is a Q&A about my writing, my comic book series, and my characters. How do I develop my vampire characters and their personalities? To build a character, I first look at their zodiac signs and research the either positive or negative aspects of each sign. For instance, if one of my characters is an Aries, I look at the worst possible traits of that particular sign. I also base them on personal experiences. Sometimes if I'm especially affected by a personality type, it becomes inspirational and I can develop a whole new character in minutes. It's not clear cut, so you don't know whether a character will turn good or bad. The characters can be conflicted. They can transform from good to bad or bad to good at any point. But guilt can set in and then they can go back to good. Then they want to be bad again. It all depends on circumstances and their personalities and their own personal ambitions, just like humans. I have my movie method or my screenplay method where I imagine my novel as a movie in my head. I describe my ideas in short sentences, how people look, move, and speak. So I would start off with, a large man moves slowly. He mumbled. Then what does the setting look like? It was a windy day. The sky was overcast. What's the pacing? Does my novel open with a big chase scene? Then I begin filling in the details and the dialogue later. For instance, a large man moves slowly, past shoppers in the street mall. He mumbled to himself. What does he say? It was a windy day. Scraps of paper trash from the street flew into his face. The sky was overcast over a nearby park. So you kind of fill in all those little details. As for the dialogue, I listen to how people speak and answer each other to make it more natural and convincing. So the next time you're out in public, listen to how people really speak. I used to have some actor friends read the dialogue to each other to see how it would sound. Backgrounds, I sometimes travel to the actual location or use the location I'm actually at or have been to. I research details about the location. I also describe what I see at the location. For instance, the sky over Brooklyn was overcast. The Brooklyn Bridge looked larger than I imagined it would be, and now here I am walking across it. The same methods apply to comic books. I start out by writing a script first, and I envision each chapter as a panel or scenes in a movie. When I turned my novel into a comic book, I had to figure out how to condense more than 100 pages into 24 pages. So this is where the script method came in handy. I had to choose scenes that got to the point of the story and then combine them and figure out what the message of my story was and take highlights of, let's say, five chapters and then combine them into two four panel pages of the comic book while still keeping to the point of the story. So when you watch a movie and the first scene comes on, what is it? Is it exciting? Is it scary? You already have the audience wondering why when you start off with a big entrance or a scary entrance. So write like you're in a movie. Please like and subscribe to my videos and watch my Vampire Guardian Angels films and animation. And please check out my work at patreon.com backslash Price, where I have my comic book series, my novels, and my drawing lessons and tips, and my writing tips, and Q&A and facts about my Vampire Guardian Angels characters. Thanks for watching!